Welcome back, everybody, to Return to New Zealand, a magical land where hugs still happen. Of course, I couldn't spend a week in New Zealand without trying my hand at their national sport, rugby. And I'll sum up how it went in six seconds. <laughs> what I learned that day is that 90% of the game is mental, by which I mean now I know not to play rugby anymore. But I was particularly excited and honored to be coached by members of the New Zealand All Blacks because I've long admired the intimidating Maori haka dance that they perform to challenge their opponents before each match. And while we aired my rugby lesson, we didn't get a chance to show you something even more memorable, the incredible ceremonial welcome that I received from the Maori people. <laughs> On my last day in New Zealand, I was honored to be invited onto the rugby pitch with a traditional Maori welcoming celebration known as a pofiri. So he places the tucky in a way that has opened the door to not like that, it's like that, which means we're opening the door to you. Maori cultural advisor Luke Crawford walked me through the various steps, explaining along the way the significance of this incredibly moving ceremony. Welcome to you, the people, she saying. It turned out to be an extremely meaningful way to conclude my trip. I want to thank you for the honor you've given all of us here at Wanaka. <laughs> Once properly welcomed by the Maori people, I was ready to learn how to perform a haka. Mr. Crawford, what is the haka? So haka simply, ha is breath. Ha. Breath. Ka, to set on fire, to alight, to ignite. So to breathe fire? To breathe fire. The All Blacks, New Zealand's rugby team have made the ceremonial dance known as the haka famous around the world. Before each match, they perform an intimidating haka in front of the opposing team. Before the game, often in a foreign country or even here, it's important that we connect uh, to the land, we connect to our people and we connect to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, so what it's about for us, and it's about identity. This is who we are. So haka is so much a part now of rugby, it's very hard to separate it. Got it. Okay. So. Um would you be willing to teach me uh, a bit of the haka? I'll be absolutely honored to uh, teach you your haka. I will do my best. <laughs> Thank you. We started with the foundational basics, leg slapping and foot stamping. Yep. And then it would be why why taka here. Why why is legs. So it means stamp your foot. So in time we'd go here. Okay. So that's the first part that gets us ready. And do I say anything or am you I listening? The bit you're going to say is now. And okay. this is the important part. Got it. Um, to personalize it for you, Stephen, uh, I'm going to issue a command. The command will be uh, Te Mapu Merekana Ingunguru Nei, which means let this American party resound. Let it resound. And so I'm going to say that, and the resulting uh, call that you'll come back to it will be, we'll be doing this, we'll be, here's the action for it. Te mapu merekana ingunguru nei, here's the action. O, O, O we ha. Okay, and then we're back into the full body and the foot. We're going to do that three times. Okay. After getting the call and response down, I was taught about the spiritual facial expressions that we often see during a haka. What's called pūkana. Pūkana is eyes. Yes. Eyes, yes. Fetero is tongue protruding. Fat tongue. Yes, yeah. And with that, I had the rare honor of performing my very own haka. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Thanks again to Luke Crawford and the New Zealand All Blacks. When we come back, I'll show you even more of one of the most beautiful places on this planet. <laughs>